let's take up the definitions and expressions to understand the concepts heat internal energy and work now let's first understand what is heat heat is a form of energy which determines the molecular motion molecular configuration and physical state of a system in uh, as far as uh, the thermodynamic definition is concerned for heat we say it is a form of energy which determines the molecular motion molecular configuration and physical state of a system so in our uh, earlier uh, uh, definitions somewhere we say as if heat is a form of energy which causes sensation of hotness that's our general perception definition like light is a form of energy which causes sensation of vision like that but here as far as thermodynamics definition is concerned we have to be more conceptual so heat is a form of energy which determines the molecular motion molecular configuration and physical state of a system it is called thermal energy heat is transferred between a system and surroundings in a non mechanical method without any mechanical work and si unit to measure heat is joule and conventional unit is calorie so as far as si is concerned system international all forms of energy we take the measurement in joules only but conventional unit in measuring heat is calorie it is the amount of heat calorie is the amount of heat to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water through 1 degree centigrade that is from 14.5 degree centigrade to 15.5 degree centigrade under normal atmospheric pressure calorie is the amount of heat to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water through 1 degree centigrade from 14.5 degree centigrade to 15.5 degree centigrade under normal atmospheric pressure and in this range of temperature from 14.5 degree centigrade to 15.5 degree centigrade the specific heat of water is identified to be uniform therefore that range of temperature is preferred in the definition of calorie and one calorie is equal to 4.186 joules and that is nearly we take as 4.2 joules in our calculations now the general formula for heat exchange between a system of ideal gas and its surroundings to change its temperature by a magnitude dt is that is if we have say mu moles of ideal gas and if its temperature is to be changed by a magnitude dt then the heat exchange takes place between the system and the agency which is providing the heat or the agency which is taking the heat surroundings is dq equal to mu into c into dt here c stands for the molar specific heat of gas earlier we have defined the molar specific heat of a substance the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 mole of gas or 1 mole of substance there we have defined through 1 degree centigrade or 1 degree kelvin here in reference to gas we define the molar specific heat so this expression dq equal to mu c dt is the general expression or general formula to determine the heat exchange between a system of ideal gas and its surroundings to change its temperature through dt 
here mu is moles of gas remember number of moles of the gas c is molar specific heat of gas and then let us understand the definition of internal energy expression for internal energy of a system of gas and change in internal energy internal energy of a system is the energy possessed by the system due to its molecular motions and molecular configurations the energy possessed by a system by virtue of the molecular motions and molecular configurations together we call the internal energy of the system in this the energy due to molecular motions is called inter internal kinetic energy because it is by virtue of molecular motions we call it as more clearly internal kinetic energy of the system denoted by u of x k and the internal energy due to molecular configurations is called internal potential energy of the system so in the internal energy there are two components one is internal kinetic energy another is internal potential energy so u is equal to uk plus u of x p and when we refer to a an ideal gas sample we know by definition an ideal gas is that where the internal molecular forces is uh, molecular forces are absent so in case of an ideal gas as the intermolecular forces are absent the internal potential energy of the system will be zero therefore the internal energy of an ideal gas is obviously totally kinetic so remember in case of an ideal gas there is no component of internal potential energy the reason the intermolecular forces are absent so the internal energy is taken to be totally kinetic and for an ideal gas of mu moles at absolute temperature t the internal energy is given by the expression u equal to u of x k this is mu into the c of x v into t here c of x v stands for the molar specific heat of gas at constant volume this is important we have to take only molar specific heat of gas at constant volume just after some time we are going to define for a gas two molar specific heats one is molar specific heat at constant pressure another is molar specific heat at constant volume this is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one mole of gas through 1 degree centigrade or 1 degree kelvin at constant volume here when we are defining or when we are dealing with internal energy parameter this is only a parameter in reference to the system it's nothing to do with the surroundings so this is all studied for a finite volume or a constant volume of the gas sample that's why we prefer to, here we substitute the molar specific heat at constant volume because the heat associated is only in reference to the system not with surroundings so the formula you have to remember the internal energy of an ideal gas sample of mu moles at temperature capital t is mu cv t and if the gas sample the given gas sample is to change from one initial temperature to some final temperature now the change in internal energy of the system is given by the expression u final minus u initial that is equal to mu cv t final minus mu cv t initial that is mu into cv into t final minus t initial simply we can write as dt change in the temperature of the system and remember the change in internal energy of the system depends only on the initial and final states of the system and it is a it does not depend upon the path of the process 
Hence, the change in internal energy of a system is called a point function. It is independent of the path in which we are reaching from an initial state to final state. So, u final minus u initial, what is we say, change in internal energy is said to be a point function. And then, let us understand the concept of work by different expressions. If a sample of ideal gas undergoes a change in volume, then work is said to be done such that W equal to integral of PdV under limits of initial volume to final volume. The general expression for work done in case of an ideal gas sample as its volume changes is W equal to integral of PdV under limits of initial volume to final volume. Now let us calculate this work in three contexts. One is at constant pressure, second is at constant temperature and third is at constant volume. If P is a constant, the pressure of the sample is constant. So W equal to integral of PdV is now equal to P is being a constant take out of the integration P into integral of dV is V with limits initial volume to final volume. When we substitute limits, upper limit substitution minus lower limit substitution. So the expression is W equal to P into V final minus V initial. So the work done formula is P into V final minus V initial. And in this, if the system expands against some external force, some external agency, then V final greater than V initial and hence work is said to be positive. If the system contracts because of the external agency influence, V final less than V initial and work is negative. So work is done on the system. The previous case work is done by the system. If a context where T is constant, the temperature of the sample is constant, means isothermal process. Now work done to calculate by an expression integral of PdV under limits V final to V initial, V, v initial to V final, this is equal to integral of here. I am writing P pressure expression in terms of T. We have our ideal gas equation. PV equal to mu RT, where mu is the number of moles of the sample of the gas. Therefore, P can be modified as mu, R, mu RT divided by V. So, in this expression, T is being constant. I am taking mu RT as a whole out of integration. So, mu RT integral of dV by V under limits initial to final. Integral of 1 by V dV from our formula, we have log V to the base E with as given limits initial to final. So this is mu RT into upper limit substitution of limits to uh, minus lower limits, uh, lower limits uh, substitution. So we get now mu RT into log of V final to the base E minus log of V initial to the base E. And again from by using our logarithms formula, we can write the same thing as mu RT into log of V final by V initial to the base E. If we have this V final and V initial, the absolute temperature value and number of moles, we can calculate the work done. So in an isothermal process that is at constant temperature, the work done in the context of an ideal sample, ideal gas sample is W equal to mu RT log of V final by V initial to the base E. Generally we know the values of the logarithmic functions to the base 10. So if you were to if you were to express the same thing into to the base 10, you have to multiply this function with 2.303. So the general uh, form now to, to express into the uh, exp in the form of uh, to the base 10 of the logarithmic function, we write the formula as follows w equal to 2.303 into mu rt log of v final by v initial to the base 10. 
it's a very important formula number of questions we have on this so remember this formula is defined and valid for isothermal process of the sample of the gas that means temperature of the system is constant and the third context if v is constant so obviously if v is constant dv is zero it means w is zero no change in volume is no work so the work done in case of uh, an ideal gas sample at constant pressure is p into v final minus v initial at constant temperature is 2.303 mu rt log of v final by v initial to the base 10 and at constant volume work done is zero